Hi there, how's it going? One thing I forgot to mention in my welcome videos, as I was talking about my wargaming RPG background, etc., is the fact that I was also very much into modelling as well. Uh, again, growing up in that era, we had Airfix kits, and then we had the Tamiya models coming out. I'm not sure when they were first introduced to the UK. I imagine it was sometime in the late 60s. Perhaps someone out there can let me know. But certainly in the 70s, we had the, the half tracks, the SAS Jeep, and the figures, of course, as well, those figure sets. Now, granted, some of those might look a little basic compared to today's offerings, but nonetheless, they were reasonably cheap, easy to make, and really gave, uh, I guess, a lot of kids, a lot of people, a good start in modeling. So when I returned to modeling as well, I, I, I sort of drifted in and out of that a little bit. As far as the kits go, a lot have changed, <laughs> like so many other things. And now we've got sort of photo etched parts. The figure mouldings were fantastic. And there's such a huge, wide range of model kits now. Uh, everything from your Tiger tanks through to the USS Enterprise, through to pretty much any show or film you care to think of, there's going to be model figures for it somewhere. And of course, the question always comes up with model kits about dioramas. I used to get like military modeling magazine and those sort of things back in the day and was always in awe of these fantastic dioramas that people were, were making. So, of course, I had to go myself with uh, got a bit of board and some plaster of Paris, made a little hill, put the half track on it, put those uh, the, the, the German infantry figures. One was jumping out, one's firing the machine gun, all that sort of stuff. The paints at that time were the Humbro enamel paints as well, which to be fair, or at least in my experience, aren't the best things to paint with. I much prefer acrylic these days. And the dream of everyone back then was to get an airbrush. They were hugely expensive. Uh, now, again, you can get an airbrush reasonably cheap. And certainly the one I got, I think it was about 150 quid with the compressor as well. I'll do a piece on that later on because I found the airbrush has been really great for working on these larger scale models. So dioramas and display, that's always the main issue. I still love doing dioramas but haven't done any for a while simply because I ran out of space. So another reason is to get the shed cleared out and have my permanent set up in there. Because if you put in a, even a 148 scale tank on a base with a little bit of scenery and a few figures you're looking something about this big, this square, uh, and not many of us have the shelf space to put that up. Plus, of course, the other issue you get is dust. How do you keep your models protected? So I thought what I'd do today is show you some of the models I've made over the past probably 15 years or so. I did try this once or twice down at the club, and I found, of course, with a macro lens, your figures are magnified beautifully, but so are your handshakes. Because if you're holding the GoPro on a stick like this out here, even <laughs> the calmest person in the world, you get these little shakes, which when macroed up, uh, looks like there's an earthquake going on. So I did some research and I am invested in a gimbal. This just arrived today uh, and I've just charged it up. So basically the GoPro sits in there and then mechanically this will turn and tilt and from all the test footage I've seen this gives really smooth results. So I guess we're going to find out. So that's it, the rest of today is just going to be looking at some of those models. I'm afraid I can't remember, I guess most of the AFVs are Tamiya, the figures are from all over the place, some are 35mm, some 75 and so on and so on. Anyway, I hope you enjoy that look and please if you've got any tips for how you display your figures or how you can keep them dust free and at the same time safe from any marauding cats then please do let me know in the comments below as always please like share and subscribe and i'll see you soon